guys. I've also been playing a lot of like app games this month. Like the first one will not surprise you at all. That is 2048. Freaking adore this game. If you haven't been playing, I don't know what's up with you because it's an app now. It wasn't for a while, but now it is. And so now I'm even more addicted. I've never won because I don't really care about finding out, you know, the algorithm to it. It's just, it's calming. It's calming just moving numbers around. So you just slide and you, you know, combine the numbers and stuff and you want to get to 2048. White balance back? Nope. Yes? Nope. The next game that I've been playing a lot is another just really calming game. This, I think this was a free Starbucks dealio and that is, I think it's pronounced Tammy. You're trying to get the board completely one color in a certain amount of moves. It'll look like that and then you can go like boop and it does that. <laughs> and then lastly, this will probably resonate with a lot of booktubers. Like, if I can suggest one app for booktubers, it is this app. It's so, it's so good and it's free and it's hilarious. It is called Writer Rumble. It is a spelling game where you just, you know, match up letters to spell words. But it's also a fighting game and guess who? Your avatars are Edgar Allan Poe and Agatha Christie. Yes, yes, you can play as Edgar Allan Poe or Agatha Christie and fight off ghosts and like flying books. And also you can pay to get Jane Austen, the Grimm Brothers. It is just a word game where you spell words. And if you play it with sound, <laughs> It's even better because they have their little catchphrases. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you on when I see you. <laughs> Should I be like Grace and just end each video with that? I don't know. Cause I don't, I don't know.